Hi, I'm Belinda from the Institute of Personal Care Science. And since we can't be together at In Cosmetics, I'm here to introduce you to some great innovative materials and also demonstrate their use live in action. The first material I want to introduce you to is Cloisonne Vibrant Raspberry from BASF. This is the material here. And as you can see, it lives up to its name of being beautiful and vibrant color. It uses multi-layer technology, which uses layers of coatings with different refractive indexes to increase chromaticity, lightness, and sparkle. This material has enhanced stability and vibrancy. And when compared with Red Seven Lake and Carmine, you can see just how much more vibrant the color is and how UV resistant the color is over time. It means you have longer lasting, more vibrant color. It also doesn't stain the skin like some FDNC colorants can, and it's vegan friendly, unlike Carmine. It can be mixed with a variety of other iron oxides, pigments, and effects pigments to achieve a variety of different colors and effects. It's also ethically sourced using environmentally conscious mining practices with full traceability from its mine in Georgia. Use it in your color cosmetics the way you'd use other color cosmetic pigments. And there's a range of starting formulations available from the supplier to make formulating your sustainable, vegan friendly, ethically mined cosmetics easily. The next material I want to introduce you to is Dio Biome Noni by Vitrus Biotech. Now this is a smart microbiota deodorant active. The use of deodorants has increased in popularity dramatically over recent times. And this is an active that uses prebiotics and plant stem cell technology. If you need convincing, here's a screenshot showing just how much microbiota is around hair follicles and sweat glands. This is the material here. It incorporates noni stem cells to inhibit the formation of the smell factor in armpit malodors. Microbiota actually talk to each other through a concept known as quorum sensing. This active works on this quorum sensing pathway to inhibit the bad bacteria, but doesn't impact the good bacteria. You can see it's clinically proven bacteria static and fungus static effect on the bacteria we don't want on our skin, yet how it does not impact the good bacteria we do want on our skin. In in vivo testing, it has been clinically proven to reduce several groups of compounds which contribute to body odor and also effectively modifies the armpit odor fingerprint. Without these byproducts under our arms, we simply don't create the malodors normally formed. It also has clinical efficacy against acne, so it's also useful in anti-acne products and it's also effective to combat foot odor. Use at 1% in your finished product and add after the emulsion has cooled below 40 degrees. The next material I want to introduce you to is Sim Effect Sun by Simrise. And this is a fantastic multifunctional material to use in your sunscreens. Not only does it enhance the sensory profile of the sunscreen product, it can also help stabilize the emulsion, help you produce finer droplets within the emulsion, boost SPF, and contributes to water resistance without an undesirable skin feel. This is the material here, and although it comes in a waxy pellet form, you only need to use a small amount in formulas to get all of these amazing effects, between 1.5 to 5%. You can then create products from lotions, with no ghosting, right through to viscous sunscreen creams, again, with no ghosting. You can also contact the supplier for a variety of starting formulations. It's naturally derived and sustainably sourced. 
And here you can see some of the fantastic SPF boosting benefits of incorporating this material in your formulations. You can also see how it reduces droplet size to enhance stability and spreading of those UV filters in your emulsions. Use between 1.5 to 5% in your formulations and is suitable for hot processing so it makes it easy to incorporate into a variety of emulsions. It works especially well in your oil and water emulsions meaning you can create some really high SPF products without a greasy or tacky afterfill. The next material I want to introduce you to, I can't wait to try myself, and that is Singlo Peptide by DSM. It's known as a glowing peptide, and this material you would use in your standard emulsions to provide a natural glowing effect to the skin. It works by stimulating melanocortin receptor 1. This is the master regulator of skin tanning. It leads to an increase in melanin synthesis. Melanin synthesis is of course the body's way of responding to sunlight exposure. So by using this active and stimulating melanocortin receptor 1, it means our body becomes more protective against oxidative stresses and enhances DNA repair. This is the material here and as you can see it's totally colourless and goes into emulsions easily. DSM conducted in vivo testing on 29 volunteers. They ran trials using a sunlight simulator, which was 40% below the minimum erythemal dose, corresponding to around 15 to 30 minutes outdoor during average spring day in mid-Europe climates. Prior to using the product, they made sure the test group had no sun exposure for six days. From day one to four, they applied the product and had this low UV exposure. From day 5 to 15 they had no further product application and no UV exposure. And from day 15 to 22 no application of product and no UV exposure. The results showed this huge increase in the glowing effect. And while these tests were conducted on the forearm, they did some simulation of what it would look like on a consumer's face in different complexions. As you can see, it provides that beautiful healthy glow you get from a small amount of sun exposure. Enough to be good for you, but not enough to cause you any harm. Use in your formulations at 3% and add after the emulsion has cooled below 40 degrees. It's compatible with a wide variety of formulation types, but being a peptide works especially well in emulsion delivery. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Jade Alga by Odysseia. Now, this is quite a unique algae sourced from Brittany. Now, in Brittany, these algal sources can become a bit of a problem. In fact, they can become a real ecological nightmare. And what Odysseia has done is they actually harvest this algae out at sea before it comes into land where it can decompose and become an ecological nightmare. So by sourcing this material, we're actually improving the ecological profile of that Brittany area. It's an organic algae extract and what makes it so unique is its ability to reform from high tide where its cells expand and intake extra water to low tide where the cells are able to contract induced by water loss. Unfortunately, our skin cells don't behave the same way. So by using Jade Alga, we can increase the ability of the skin to reform and for those cells to plump up, restoring suppleness, elasticity and vibrancy to the skin. What enables it to do this is the olven cells in the algae. And these are rich in gluconic and iduronic acids, which have a BHA-like effect. This also means soft peeling of the skin without irritation, but a renewed effect on the skin's complexion. This is the material here. It's completely water soluble. And as you can see, it has absolutely no impact on the appearance of a finished cream. Use at one to 3%. Being water soluble, it's easy to incorporate into a range of emulsions in the cool down step below 40 degrees. I'd like to thank BASF, Vitrus Biotech, Simrise, DSM and Odysseia 
for allowing me to bring their amazing materials to you today. Make sure to visit In Cosmetics Connect online for the latest innovations and information. I look forward to seeing you soon for more ingredients in action. Happy formulating.